We're going to talk about trust planning today. So trust planning, we're going to start, we're going to break down the different types of trust and I'm going to show you how I see them so you can see them the same way. So we're going to break it down with an irrevocable trust and a revocable trust. What's the difference? So let's start with a revocable trust. You know, it's not that complicated. It is what it sounds like. If it's a revocable trust, usually the grantor or the person who set up the trust and put the money in the trust is also the trustee. So in control of the trust, it's revocable because you can revoke it. If you're the trustee of your own trust, a revocable living trust, you've made it during your life. It's yours during your life. It may do something different or go irrevocable if you pass away or become incompetent, but while you're alive, you're competent, you control it. You can put things into it, money, you can put accounts, you can put stock, you could put real estate, you could put homes in the trust, but you can also take everything out of the trust and you could sign a document revoking the trust. You could rip it up. You could tear it in half. It's over. It's revocable by you. That's the major difference between a revocable trust and an irrevocable trust. So you hold the trust and you're in charge of it. But sometimes when we're doing trust planning, we want to protect assets from a benefit program like long-term care Medicaid that pays for nursing home Medicaid. So if we're doing that type of protective planning, we might want to put the home into the trust. The irrevocable trust it has a third party trustee, which could be a trusted family member. We at McIntyre Elder Law also offer trustee services. So we are available to do that at a professional level, but many times it is a trusted family member who is the trustee of the irrevocable trust. Money can be placed in the irrevocable trust to start that clock ticking, to start that ticking, that three year look back period for assisted living, five years for nursing home, Medicaid programs on any money or property that we put in that irrevocable trust. The revocable trust still avoids probate. Wills are public, trusts are private. So it's private, it avoids probate. So does the irrevocable trust. There's some flexibility in an irrevocable trust and I'll contrast that with the deed planning video you may have already watched, okay? With deed planning, if I have a ladybird deed on the house and I sell the property, then the money's in my name and I could have a cash problem on my hands because my objective could be to protect it from that Medicaid recovery or look back period. However, when I put a home in the environment of an irrevocable trust, which we will call a Medicaid asset protection trust, just for simplification, which we draft on a regular basis at McIntyre Elder Law. If you sold a home that was in a Medicaid asset protection trust, that irrevocable trust, then that money could never hit your hands. It could just transition directly into an account that's in the name of that trust. So what happens in the trust, just like Vegas, stays in the trust and it's not at all collectible from a Medicaid recovery and that clock keeps on ticking toward that Medicaid look back period so that you'll have those benefits available to you if and when you really need them. Remember, 70% of seniors over the age of 65 are going to need some type of long-term care, in-home, assisted living, or nursing home care. And again, another Vegas reference, I don't know why I'm on those today, but those are not great odds, okay? So if I told you that there was a 70% chance of rain today, you might wanna bring an umbrella. If I tell you that there's a 70% chance that you might need long-term care, you might wanna do some planning. Thanks for watching my breakdown of trust and the differences between revocable, irrevocable trust as contrasted with deed planning. I'm Greg McIntyre at McIntyre Elder Law, helping seniors protect their assets and legacies. Call us at 704-749-9244.